SourceFed. I'm Steve Zaragoza. I'm Lee Newton. I'd say it's about time to check in on everybody's favorite rascally old Mars rover. Oh, that Mars rover yeah. curiosity. The rover has been on Mars for less than a month and it's already performed all sorts of cool robot rovery type stuff. Like its first test drive, fired a nuclear megawatt laser at a rock, and it's taken a lot of really awesome photos like this one. Ooh. Ah. Look, the Mars photos are awesome, don't get me wrong, but it honestly looks like the same place where Jesse and Walt used to cook meth in the RV in Breaking Bad. No, no, it's a different planet, Lee. No human has ever walked on that terrain. The mountains, the rocks, the dirt, it's all alien and new. It's a place you and I will never go to. Well, not with that attitude you want, Steve. So now that your minds are blown from seeing the crisp imagery of an alien landscape, NASA recently held a press conference where they talked about the new images and played an audio clip that was recorded by NASA Administrator Charles Bolden, uploaded to Curiosity on Mars, then downloaded again to Mission Control on Earth. Basically, the space voicemail message said, Hello, this is Charles Bolden, NASA Administrator, speaking to you via the broadcast capabilities of the Curiosity rover, which is now on the surface of Mars, blah, blah, blah. And then he went on to say, This is an extraordinary achievement. Landing a rover on Mars is not easy. Others have tried. Only America has fully succeeded. F yeah. That last part was not in the message. Oh, okay. I, I made that up. Okay. So the message sent to the Curiosity and back to Earth was pretty much just a demonstration on how BAMF NASA is. Basically, it was like a nice big pat on the back for a successful launch and landing. Way to go, guys. We get you. You sent Wally to Mars. And speaking of annoying human voices, Black Eyed Peas artist Will I Am was the first singer to colonize Mars. Will I Am. <laughs> yeah. I know, not the Beatles. No. Not Michael Jackson. Elvis Presley. Will I Am. That makes sense. The latest song from the popular artist was the first song ever to be broadcast from another planet. Marketing! Using the technique NASA used to broadcast Bolden, the new song appropriately titled Reach for the Stars was played by Curiosity and beamed 166 million miles back to Earth. Thankfully, the song was only 24 seconds long. Awesome! $2.5 billion well spent, NASA. Mm -hmm. I mean, I can't wait for the crappy karaoke parties via Mars. The event was live streamed from NASA's website yesterday at 1 p.m. Hopefully, Curiosity gets back on track with doing its science-y stuff instead of acting like a 2.5 billion dollar iPod speaker doc. Yeah, I can't wait until Everybody Loves Curiosity airs on E! where we watch the rover shoot rocks and play shitty pop songs. All jokes aside, next up on Curiosity's itinerary is to sniff out Mars's atmosphere using SAM, or Sample Analysis of Mars, which NASA scientists have dubbed the nose of Curiosity. Aw, see? They're already anthropomorphizing the little bugger. I can't wait until the plushies go on sale. Yeah. Curiosity has also taken its first step towards detecting water on the planet, and then the search for life begins. Depending on whether or not the Will I Am song has scared them all away. <laughs> Good one, Lee. Thank you. So, what are your thoughts on those awesome Mars photos, and do you think they'll find new evidence of life on the planet? Let us know in the comments down below. And of course, click on that like and subscribe button. Click the annotation down below, or you can go to sourcefed.com for our five daily stories and every other story we've ever done. I'm Lee Newton. I'm Steve Zaragoza. Hey, Lee, they should play one of our songs from the rover. God, they really should. I know. Thank you.